Arcane Season 2 Act 2 is here. Let's talk about it in full spoilers and also no spoilers. You'll be safe. I'll let you know when I'm going to talk about some of the spoiler topics. But overall, this was amazing. If you saw my review last week, I really liked Arcane Season 2 Act 1. And I thought it was a perfect start to the final conclusion of Vi and Jinx's story. And for me, what I was most curious was to see that this anomaly... That's occurring. I assumed that this would bring them back together, but what I wasn't anticipating was that there was another element that I hadn't even comprehended on bringing a reunion back together. And when we get to the spoilers part, we're going to definitely talk a little bit about that, but this week's Arcane episodes were just magnificent, amazing, goosebump inducing. And while for the most part, I think on the surface, it is a little bit slower in terms of like action and in terms of pacing. There's still some fantastic action in here. Do not get me wrong. But in terms of like the action set pieces that we all know Arcane for, this is definitely more of a setup for the back half of the season. And that is all stuff that I am very, very excited to talk about. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like subscribe button. We're going to be covering Arcane all the way through. So next week, when those episodes drop, please look out for a review. Whether I get the episodes early or whether I got to stay up past midnight and binge the hell out of them, you will be getting those from me. But let's jump into this now because for me, like there's just a couple different instances and certain things I want to talk about before I actually warn you guys what we're going to talk about via spoilers. And a lot of that is, is this jump. I like that we've kind of just jumped back and forth focusing in on Jinx. And I think the little girl that she has with her is Aisha. And I like that relationship and that dynamic and specifically what that means to Jinx. And I think she sees a lot of herself inside of her that makes her feel protective. And I think at the same point in time, what Vander had done to Jinx and Vi and protecting them, this is kind of that same parental figure that Jinx now wants to give to someone else. And again, is something special. I like that the first episode very much focuses in on Jinx. And I think what I loved is that the first part felt like it focused more on Vi overall with tidbits of Jinx here and there. And then this part focuses a little bit more on Jinx with bringing Vi back in and for me when they reintroduced Vi I mean that was that was some straight up amazing shit I loved it I think that's actually all I can really talk about without getting into spoilers so let's jump into this um spoiler alert you're if you haven't watched the episodes yet go watch them but the biggest spoiler alert that I have here is uh Vi's uh hair uh, changed looks badass looks amazing <laughs> like i love her new look like i, li I like the pink before but this is even better she looks even more badass in some way shape and form and i think the reason that i prefer act two to act one already instantly is because what the foundation was built up in act one and the the ending and specifically that fight scene between jinx and, and vi but the way that the transition showing time has passed caitlin's in a new relationship all these sorts of things but for me what really stuck out to me was when you find out that this beast is vander now maybe league of legends fans knew that and maybe i i just couldn't didn't comprehend that i, I thought vander was gone this was massive and when jinx finds this out and brings vi back into the picture and they have to seemingly work together this wasn't the comprehension that i had of them coming back together and to see them working together, like honestly, like struck a chord with me, like one that I try not to get emotional on, but the writing was so great here. And the voice acting is like top tier that it just came together in such a super, super foolish way. I'm probably mispronouncing that or maybe using the word wrong, but it, it feels right for the instance that I truly enough was just like, wow, wow. And when episode two ended in, in act two, I, I just sat there in disbelief of the emotion that was kind of going through my body, feeling what this was going through and that dynamic in how Vander felt. And it, it's, it's truly something unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And it's something that I genuinely am just so excited to see what occurs next now. Which brings us into the final episode of this entire act, which for the most part, like I loved seeing Vi kind of get up on the other end, Caitlin kind of helping her, but then it still didn't turn out right. 
and whatever Jace did, I think his name is Jace, with the anomaly and everything that had happened to him, uh, it, it like seemingly broke Vander. Vander goes off the hinges, which sends Aisha into there to do something, and it ends right there. This battle ensues, and now we're left on another cliffhanger, where the next three episodes, the final three episodes of Arcane, cannot come any sooner. I need them now. And I'm so, so happy to have that. So a couple other spoilers to kind of just overall discuss. Uh, I think, again, Vander, Warwick, the true identity there. I think that was kind of big jaw dropping, eye opening. I'm sure some fans were like, holy shit. And I'm sure some, I'm sure some people saw that coming. Also, just I really want to hone in on that reunion. I think that is like Jinx and Vi's reunion is like truly enough one of the best moments in this entire series. And seeing all the conflict that had led up to like this point and seeing them reunite like meant the world to me. And I love that as well. Uh, Mel's being in prison and the shocking discovery she learns during that time. Pretty solid. Uh, I don't really care for the Mel storyline sometimes, though, and maybe I'm in the minority on that, but that's just me. Inside this, just to touch a little bit more, uh, when Aisha gets her hair dyed by Jinx, thought that was pretty sick. Last but not least, uh, there's a lot of death. There's a lot of death in here. A lot of characters start dying in the last episode, and I think, for the most part, I think the finale is going to have that too. And I would like us to go and kind of go into this with a prediction. Who dies? Vi, Jinx, both, none. Uh, I, I feel like one of them has to die in here. And I feel like it's going to be Vi. I don't want it to be Vi. I don't want it to be Jinx either. But that that's my final prediction. So, guys, thank you so much again for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below your guys' thoughts. And, of course, until next time, stay classy.